encapsulate summer in the depths of winter using these beautiful home sun-dried tomatoes. Summer has come to an end and we are currently getting into fall. <laughs> One thing I miss the most about summer is my garden. Obviously, I love the sunshine. I love the time outdoors. I love the warmth. But also, we need to have different seasons. Anyway, the main reason about this video is how to encapsulate a little bit of summer in the depths of winter. I try to preserve food to ensure that I can get the freshness of the food as much as possible in the months when we don't have it fresh from the garden. Tomatoes have been ripening and one thing I always do with tomatoes is this. I ensure I preserve some dehydrated. So I want to share with you how I dehydrate tomatoes to get the freshness, the essence of summer, essentially, <laughs> essence essentially, in the depths of winter. So these are the last of the few tomatoes we have left. The most of the tomatoes have succumbed to blight, which is such a shame. I'll just show you what some blight looking tomatoes are like. Um, that is blight. Those dark things, they are blight. Um, yeah, not a lot of them, but that is blight. So if it's blighted tomatoes, I try not to use them raw, but I have soaked this, cleaned this with sodium bicarb and make sure it's free from any sort of mold because that is so important. You don't want to be eating moldy tomatoes. Ideally, I love using fresh tomatoes. Actually, I have done a lot of it already, but I wanted to share this with you guys, how you can preserve your tomatoes. So tomatoes are high moisture fruits. So they have like 95% water. Most of them, not all. Now, something like this is a beef steak. Now, beef steak tomatoes are high moisture. Whereas things like this, the San Mazzano, the Romas, they have lower moisture content. So I try using things like this, but I can still use this. So I'll show you how you can make them dehydrate faster, saving you energy in your oven, and also ultimately giving you the fresh essence of summer in the winter. I start having a bowl. Now a bowl is important because we want to get rid of the seeds from the tomatoes. So when you slice, not too thin so this sort of thickness is perfect and then we have our seeds in here two ways you can get rid of the seeds you can use a spoon scoop the seeds out before you slice or you can take it like so and scoop it out as well look at the amount of moisture we have gotten out of these tomatoes Whenever I'm doing food prepping and processing in the kitchen, I love listening to my Bible or a podcast. Today, I was actually listening to the Bible app by Nikki and Pippa Gumbel. And the topic was so amazing. It says, never give up, like never, ever give up. So guys, this is an encouragement to you to just hang in there. I'm actually doing my Bible devotion this time. I use the Bible app. It's called Bible in One Year. So if you're one of the people that actually want to do the Bible devotion or want to read through your Bible in a year, it's so good because it's audio. I can be doing stuff. Yes, you need to sit down and actually do proper studies of your Bible. However, this really helps. Okay, so we have done one tray. So we're going to go ahead, do this all, put this in the oven and... I will go to the allotment. I have work to do today at the allotment, probably film a video about harvesting seeds. And then I'll come back and probably in about eight hours, eight to 10 hours, it should be dehydrated and ready to enjoy. If you're enjoying this video, if it's adding any value to you, give us a thumbs up. And also don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you. Shadow, you won't light up. Mountain, you won't climb up. Coming after me. Okay. I always use my oven as my dehydrator. It's just so much more cheaper and effective. We'll keep checking it anyway. Because it's on a plane rack, it will dehydrate. There's better air circulation. If you use um, dehydrator sheets, the silicone ones, it doesn't circulate as well. So and then we have more layers to fill. Two thousand years later. Right, we've got our tomatoes dehydrated. Look at that. This is it. This is it. This is my dehydrated tomatoes. And they are so delicious. Like they taste so fresh. I think they're even fresher than the sun-dried ones because we've bought them before. 
and I used to love buying them but once I started making mine the taste there's no comparison so this is the beauty of having yours now if you can't buy grow yours buy tomatoes they are in season now they are cheaper to buy now so buy them in bulk I see people buying them and for making stews and sauces try this one try this one and add it to your food like if you make coconut rice you know you don't use tomatoes put it in at the end or soak it and just put it in at the end you have the juicy delicious taste obviously that's if you like tomatoes anyway this is me signing out i hope you've enjoyed this video and try this let me know in the comment section what you think if you've ever tried doing your tomatoes this way until next time i'll see you in another one bye